Russian Trojan War, again, very topical. We're talking about a, a country right now that are destroying everybody and pretty much being dickheads, right? We're talking about Russia being completely not a dickheads. I just got to turn this video is brought to you by Brilliant. Oh, and by the way, guys, uh, just tell me if the, the sound is off or something. Again, like, I've been really, really, like, noticing the sound is off in some of the, vid some of the videos I upload. Just, like, tell me if you guys want it, like, high, high to higher or lower. Just, like, gi give me the deets. Um, I'll, I'll check the link uh, after this. Org slash feature history and be one of the 200 people to get 20% off a premium subscription. Fair? Hello and welcome to Feature History, where we'll be featuring the time... That Russia wage war. I will actually say, like, again, I know. Oh, I gotta turn off the. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Motherfucker uploading 2160p. If, God damn, motherfucker. Um, vibrating Tuesday was liberate. Yeah, yeah in, my, in your fucking dreams, they were liberating two states. In, uh, in, in reality, they were fucking uh, conquering and then uh, invading. War on Georgia. The country, not the state. Yeah, I always, they always mix that shit up. Like, they always say, like, wait, Russia didn't invade Georgia, the country. Ah, there's a country called Georgia? That's like every fucking American ever, like, genuinely. Okay, to give it a second, I just gotta, I gotta, boom, 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 boom. Uh, I'm getting iPhone X. Don't it get an iPhone. State. iPhone sucks dick. Don't think this the old Georgian like flag is uh, a place <laughs> shit here. Instead, <laughs> This is the story of post- Robert, get on the fucking phone, man. I like the new Georgian flag, though. Uh, the, the Georgian flag they have right now, I genuinely think it's really, really good. I will even put it up against the Danish flag for being, like, really, really good and kind of, kind of quite actually original. Hey, what up, Mangus? My man goes to blow up the neck, like, I don't know nobody. What up, what up, what up? Soviet power struggles, Western influence in the East, Russian rearmament. Oh, it ain't. What do you it mean? It's good. It's good. good. Like, the, 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 the country of Georgia's flag, it's so good. European war of the 21st century. Yeah, just like the, yeah, exactly. Like, I don't I don't want to hear anything about like liberation wars or none, none of that fucking bullshit. I don't want to hear that shit. Cause again, it's no, 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 not a fucking liberation war. Every single person via the UN has a right, if a people is determined enough to hold a vote and become their own goddamn country. If they did that, no corruption, no Russian backing, no nothing, they can be their own motherfucking independent state. And that's not even a goddamn cap. Everybody can do that, every single people. If they have a, a right, or if they have a, a people group that's big enough, they can vote for that. And that's just how the fu how the world works, okay? There's nothing called, like, they needed to invade. I mean, just wait my fucking ass, boy. Like, again, it's so fucking dumb. I'm talking about the, the state. Yeah, okay, the state's flag is fucking garbage, I know. But then in the US, um, because the US, 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 you can't do that in the US. Uh, that in the US, again, like, the United Nations, they do a lot of shit. And then the, the Americans go like... Fuck the UN. Uh, just like liberation Belgium from the Brits in World War II. Yeah. If you do a bit of Googling on the Russo-Georgian War, you'll find the 2008 conflict resulted as the breakaway of the states of Abkhazia and... Can we just agree? Like, I've, I've, I've seen this flag resulted before. as the breakaway before. of the states of Ab This flag looks like shit. And hear me out. Hear me out. The flag looks like shit. Again, it's it's basically just a knockoff American flag. You see, like, up here on the left, it's just American copyright right here. It has the stars, pretty much just, like, changed, like, one color, and then it barely did anything. Like, it's it's not original at all. Like, this, this flag sucks dick. The only thing original about this flag is the hand. Like, it, it's so fucking bad. Voting in a, a new country is impossible what, in the what? USA. Uh, is it, though? Is that is it completely impossible? Again, I don't know about that. I know that like states can't like secede from the union, but I think like it's 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 still possible if a people group identifies like a people group and isn't just like a fucking cap. I think every single place can. I I, I think no, we had a war. Oh yeah, 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 I know, but that was like that that was not like that was seceding like um, of the states, not of like a country of like a people group. Like that's different. It's different. Are they? Where are it's they? It's unconstitutional. Why did they start a war? Well, shockingly, we're going to have to go back in history to find that out. The country of Georgia is located in the South Caucasus, which has a long history of different kingdoms, principles... Again, the Black Lives Matter group tried to make a Texas to become its own country. What the fuck? I've never heard about Pallies, that in my life. empires, so on. But from the early Middle Ages, the old kingdom of Georgia would strong... Such a good flag, such a good flag. I really like the stars and then like the, um, the, like the cross, whatever the fuck it is in the middle. It's really, really good. Now we have to secede from the union to make your own... Co okay, I guess then you pretty much... Okay, so America pretty much made like... If, if, if let's say in EU4, if a rebel faction like broke up, 
it, they were pretty much not allowed to make their own country. Okay, so America kind of figured that shit out like in the early game. That that's actually pretty smart. Pretty smart. Only influenced the region. They exported their language, their orthodox Christianity, and would have. That is true. They are they are orthodox, right? They are orthodox in Georgia. Yeah, they tried to scare Texas them by making them move and wanted like uh, only black people to live there. And they get seven country again. I don't know anything about that, their but I'll tell you word for it. Positive. That's kind of weird. But past its golden age in the 12th century, the kingdom... Georgia had a golden age? Excuse me? <laughs> and I, 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 I didn't even know Georgia ever had a fucking golden age, I have to be honest. Like, aren't, haven't they always been, like, small? Like, haven't they always been small? But yeah, like, no fucking shit they would fail. Like, it's again, like, no fucking way that Americans were ever gonna let a state fucking, like, secede. It was all over the news as well. I had never, like, Mongols. that shit did not reach Europe, that's all I'm saying. And would become familiar with the Osatians, one of the many groups fleeing the hordes. That would be. That's actually true. Like a lot of uh, a lot of like people in the back in the days were like float, um, like which f trying to get away from like the hordes, like Attila the Hun and stuff like that. That's also why like a lot of tribes um, invaded into Rome because like they they gotta get away from the fucking Hun, like um, the Huns, my guy. National news, I guess. Yeah, just national news. Like it did not reach Pushed Europe. That's all I got. The mountains and settled alongside Georgians. The 15th century would be the final hurrah. Oh, they're thick. Look how thick George is. Oh, that's a thick boy. That's a thick boy right there. That's thick with the t with double C's. That's all I gotta say. Uh, of the Georgian kingdom, as it fractured apart, and oh. groups like the Abhazians and Ossetians found themselves with virtual self-governance. These various little kingdoms would brave the influence of Ottomans and Persians. Um, at some point, the king of Georgia was second biggest country in Europe. Well, again, it, that would make sense. But again, like, <laughs> Georgia, <laughs> Georgia isn't European. <laughs> Georgians be like, Georgia European, Georgia European, in reality, Georgia Asian. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's it's just such a meme, man. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> we live in a society, we man. In the 19th century, <laughs> the backdrop of one of its many wars with Persia, that the Russians oh. would officially incorporate Georgia into its imperial territories. Obviously, the Russian Revolution that followed impacted all the empire's territories, and Georgia would become once again independent in 1918. However, ethnic Abhaz- Wait, they did? Did Georgia actually get independence in 1980-18? Like, I'm, I'm guessing it's because of the Germans, right? Because the Germans, you know, after the Treaty of um, Brestatovsk, I'm guessing they got the independence? Again, I don't... I don't know. But I'm ge I'm guessing that's that's why. But I, I always hear like it was about like the Baltics, like um, Ukraine, Belarus, and uh, that's like and Poland. I think I know not even like Poland, but that's like the one, and I think also Finland. But I never heard heard like that's why. Well, I guess they just succeeded on their own. Asians and South Ossetians in Georgia's territory were inspired by but best George in the U.S. and took to revolt. Nah, I don't think I will. When the I Red Army moved Georgia. into the country in 1921. <laughs> Abhazia and South Ossetia were awarded a Soviet and Oblast, which for South Ossetia was the first time in history they had been recognized as distinct to Georgia. While under Soviet rule, Georgia grew, urbanized, and modernized as far as Soviet standards went. Yeah, And of yeah. course, this was all hand in hand. Again, like, so it's like Soviet plus Russian standards, right? It's like... In Europe, we uh, at like let's say we have a street corner right here. Let's say we have a street corner in like Western Europe. We have like under Americans, right? We have a McDonald's, we have a Burger King, and we got a goddamn like um, uh, Wendy's, and we and then we got like a, your local Turkish kebab guy. That's like Western standards of like of like improvement in the economy. And here we have like Soviet slash Russian slash Georgian standards of like your average um, corner at in this time. There was like your um, your like red red kebab store where you could like buy the best red kebab in the entire country because there's only one store. That's like um, Soviet slash Russian slash Georgian improvements in, to the economy. Let's just be honest. That's just me. <laughs> okay. No, I'm just kidding, right? But like, oh, we're empathizing something. But you know, you know when you know, just know. Corruption. 
<laughs> when the late 80s introduced Gorbachev's emancipating reforms across... Listen, I know a lot of people talk shit about Gor Gorby or like Gorbachev, right? But at least he got the whole fucking country to fall apart. Let's hold the whole fucking house to fall apart. Like Hitler said that only to kick the door in and the whole rotten structure would crash. Nah, you need the guy to already, already be in the room and then walk out of it, smacking the door, and then the house fucking, like, crumbles. That's what you needed to do. Hitler just didn't get an inside man, let's just be honest. I hate Gorby. He was, again, I, I genuinely think, like, he has a lot of, like, interesting things to say. Because, again, he's still alive, right? Um, and it's still, like, a very, very, um... Uh, very like famous person in in in, in and stuff. I, I I don't know if he's still in Russia. Uh, and after the '96, the shows were done. Yeah, that's true, right? But again, I think I think he um like the freedoms he gave um he gave like the Russians and the fact he didn't crush uh, rebel like rebellions and democratic movements was just I think. I think I think it was the best thing that could happen for like modernization. But the problem was that the modernization was just kind of like. It just made like big, big, it just made the country more like uh, gave it more unrest instead of like a flourishing economy. Um, let's just be honest. At the service was done. It's the Americans and the putting them economic wise and with the military. Yeah, that's true. But again, they could probably still have like kept going if they just had had like the right reforms in the Soviet Union. But again. I would still say like when then they went into Afghanistan that was kind of like when they when they, they they kind of fucked up. There was just too much money being poured into bullshit and dumb shit, right? It's just dumb. Then they were last time they were, could win a war against the West, but yeah, again they just again, they just didn't have the economy. They didn't have the planes. Didn't have the modern tanks. Didn't have the bullshit. Didn't have the fucking navy. They didn't get got shit, motherfucker. All they got was a bunch of fucking starving peasants that couldn't get any bread. Cause again, like the Soviets were kind of like, now nah, we gotta export food. We we can't feed our motherfucking people. Like it's just dumb shit. Georgia moved towards exiting the Union. Good on Georgia. Good on Georgia. Georgia would be the first and the but again I want Georgia to uh, to join the EU and I also want again I some again I know I know I'm I'm taking the piss on like Georgia being um, a a nation country right but again I still want them to join the EU and also want them to join NATO like I, I'm just going to say I know they're not in the Atlantic you know shit right but I want them to join NATO and one reason tanks are better than uh, Abraham modern right uh, yeah, I actually heard that. I actually heard that. Like, the Abraham, a Abrahams were kind of, like, outdated now. Yeah, their phone spell it right. <laughs> uh, like, the Caucasus like, to break away. And the president, Gabsakhurdia. The president stood for Georgian nationalism. Empire. Oh, yeah. I've seen that flag before. I don't know where I've seen it, but I think I think it's in Hoy. I've seen that. The T-14 Amada. Oh, that was by that retaining point. Georgia's claim to the territories of Abkhazia and South Ossetia. Akin to most post-Soviet states, the country fell into disarray. Nationalist militants would stage a coup on the government, having the president exiled, and embroiling the capital of Tbilisi in civil war. In parallel, on the country's edges, Abkhazian and Ossetian insurgents attempted to drive away... But I don't understand, like, if... If like if there are these like small culture groups, right, that are not that are not distinctly Georgian, right, and they want to be their own country, um, why don't why doesn't the the Georgians and these like small states like just do what Denmark did with Greenland? It's kind of like they can rule themselves. They got all the motherfucking bullshit. They are in like the the UN. They got a seat and everything, right? But you just can't call it their own country. It's just it's kind of like. We all like it's kind of like playing play pretend around them that they're their own country, but they're really not. But they got their own economic, um, you know, um, responsibilities and shit like that. I think that would be a better way of doing it than to just be like, "Fuck you, you gotta be Georgian, you gotta be Georgian." I think it's better to make a diplomatically peace than just going big dick. I know it's good to be on big dick, but this is going big dick in the wrong way. Uh, I got a video for after this. Uh, I'll look at it after this. The Georgian National Guard. George's former communist leader, Edward Shevardnadze, would return to power in March of the same year. Wishing to bring order and also concerned for Russian intervention, he would manage a ceasefire with the Ossetians in July. However, conflict in Abkhazia only worsened. Such a bad flag. September of 1993 saw the Russian-backed separatists successfully put the National Guard on the retreat, and Georgian civilians within Abkhazia had a genocide committed against them. Shevard Wait, where were the Americans? I... 
I don't understand. Like, where are the Americans in all this? Did the Americans start to like, supply the Georgians with guns? Like, isn't that like the most American thing they can do? Like, some like something happens like on the other side of the planet, and then they're like, let's say, I think maybe Obama Bush is kind of like, well, Russians, what, what? Sh- g- g- give guns, give money. <laughs> like, isn't that like very Amer- Amer- American thing to do? Like, just give money to whoever is their enemy. Like, I, how did this not happen? The Nazi had lost in Abkhazia, and his authority was opposed greatly in Tbilisi. The president would decide to join Russia's newly formed Commonwealth of Independent yeah, they... States. Rival militias were crushed, and the ex-president Gabsakhurdia would be found dead they, uh, yeah. under uncertain circumstances. Because like, can we at least agree that it's the most American thing ever that if a country wants motherfucking independence, the US give, gives guns, like just like they're doing Ukraine right now. I know that, like, CAA bullshit and stuff like that, but, like, this is, like, genuinely giving guns to the good guys, right? Can we at least agree on that? Because, like, this this shit is motherfucking bullshit, man. Like, where are the, where are the Americans? Shevardnadze would be able to retain power for another ten years, but it had cost him and Georgia everything. 2003 marked the end of his presidency, when he Bro, was peacefully ousted by Mikhail Saakashvili. We're going broke from it? Nah, man. America just gotta keep printing more money, man. Like, we cannot stop. Like, a printing machine go burn. Come on, man. We just gotta print more money, man. <laughs> USA! 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 You know, you know, and you know, just... No, come on, His man. Print more money. supporters in the Rose Revolution. The protests inspired to remove corruption, Soviet era leadership, and integrate Georgia as a member of Europe and NATO. Western money would funnel into the country, and by oh. 2006... Ah, oh, there we go. That's the West coming in. That's the West coming in. The bill for inflation actually is more about Ukraine than inflation. Well, again, again, literally giving money and giving like weapons that cost a lot of money away. Let's just be honest. It's not really the best motherfucking economic strategy. Uh, and I don't think anybody would deny that fact. Like, that's just, that's just like, simple motherfucking economics. Like, if you give stuff away and they don't pay for it, you're losing money, right? So, it's, it's just not a good fucking idea. Like, I will still agree that, like, Ukraine still needs fucking help. Again. But maybe, maybe you don't have to ship, like, the most expensive shit away. Um, there we are we getting three hundred billion dollars from bro? Well, yeah, I don't know, man. Amer- American printing machine go brrrr. Like again, you just gotta print so much money that one bill, one U.S. fucking motherfucking bill has like three billion on it. Like then, then, then it's easy, man. You just gotta keep inflating the motherfucking shit. Yeah. Like how how do you feel? Uh, again, Den- Denmark's economy is like very small, right? I can put this in like um in uh, in rip uh, like. In Denmark, we got insanely pissed that the that the prime minister of Denmark or like states minister I don't know what the fuck it's called in English, um he bought like tuxedos and plane tickets, on on Danish tax dollars. That's how little money it's gotta be spent, of the Danish tax money, before the Danish people are kind of like, man, this is bullshit. We need to stop you. Like that's all they gotta do. Buy buy fucking three tuxedos and a goddamn plane ticket. That's all we gotta buy. And then the fucking Danish people are kind of like, what the my money, my money, my money. Like that's all you gotta do to buy a game on Steam it was like four dollars and eight dollars sales tax. How the fuck can you have an eight dollars sales tax? That's bullshit. You cannot. No, 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 no. That's bullshit. That's also why I don't don't buy games in Denmark. Is <laughs> that shit's too expensive, man? Six. Sakasvili saw the completion of the Baku Tbilisi Chehan pipeline, a heavily Western-backed project that saw the U.S. and Europe able to tap into the Caspian Sea's oil and bypass Russia. This pipeline, combined with the older and smaller Baku Supsa pipeline, NJ, New York, stood as a notable state. threat to Russia's oil. New York is like that, like, qu- uh, quirked up, um, you know, uh, goth girl that we all want. But when you get, to, when you finally get together with her, you realize that she's suicidal. She just wants to, fu- she just wants, like, somebody to love her. But she's hot, though. But she's hot. It's not just don't get us confused with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, man, but like, no matter what, it's still true. The truth about New York, man. I'm sorry. Oil export dominance. <laughs> Additionally, in 2006, Sakasvili would make his intentions to join NATO clear 
when he that little flag pin his... it's that's that's so cute like the little flag pin i want what some one of that but then for denmark like i would love i would love to have that in denmark i just gotta take off my cap it's getting quite hot in here uh, i live in south europe not gonna uh, those are confused in new york yeah but again it's like nj so right like this is council of defense Oh, and Russian why? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And why? I can't proper, spell. But maintain garrison in a You know, Danish. Uh, you know, it's my second language. You can't even be mad at me. Fun fact South Jersey alone had the most slaves in the Union before the Civil War. 7,000 slaves. That's a lot of motherfucking slaves. Boy. Yeah. And South East. Bro, that's a lot of motherfucking slaves. See, sure. Yeah, again, like these places, that, that's what one, that was getting invaded. Georgia had cut ties with Russia, undermined its economy, oh. and embraced its traditional rivals as allies. The Soviet era was over, and Russia's influence was no more. I've always wanted to go to like um, like Soviet states and seen like all the um, Soviet like architecture and old Soviet shit. Like I always wanted to do that, but again, it's just so expensive to like be like having to travel around and stuff like that. I've always wanted to like um, just like take buy a shitty car like for maybe like two thousand dollars or two thousand euros, and it's just like go on drive and just like drive through like the Russian like Soviet states. But again, I don't speak a, a lick of fucking Russian. Besides, like, katuchka, which means potato. That's all I can say. Again, and nobody in there speaks fucking uh, English. And that's like, that. I gotta, I can prove that. Try to go on fucking Counter-Strike, and there's a Russian, and ask them if they can speak English. They can't. Again, like, you cannot do that. Have you ever seen that? Ken's burn? That was mean, the idea. No, I haven't. Again, I'm not a big, like, Civil War kind of guy. I like the Civil War, but, like, again, it's... Eh. Random question, I don't know. Hundreds yeah, I've never, I've never seen it. Hundreds of Russian seen it. soldiers would be moved into Abkhazia in May of 2008. To repair railroads, allegedly. Sarkisvili took this as a warning to Georgia. In response to Russia's posturing, and additionally the continued insurgent actions of South Ossetia, Georgian forces would move into the territory on August 7th. This was legally... Ge so, what is technically called Georgian territory, which is what is re like recognized by the entire world as Georgian territory, they're moving into that, and that's a problem? I don't know, man. That seems kind of weird to me, man. If if it's recognized as Georgian territory, that's all I gotta say. Like, it's, it's motherfucking Georgian territory. Until a referendum has been hold, held. Georgian forces moving in their own borders, but the newly elected Russian president, Dmitry Medvedev, would disagree. As one what? of the earliest moves of his presidency, he would immediately mobilize Russian troops and launch airstrikes in South Ossetia. In all honesty, the Russian forces moved in an uncoordinated and disjointed way. Oh, just like every Russian unnecessary force. losses. Despite this, Russia's overwhelming force saw Georgian forces push from South Ossetia in roughly a day. By August 10th, despite international calls for ceasefire, Russian troops would move into Georgia proper and seize the city of Gordy. And it should be mentioned that the bulk of Russia's assault was carried out through intense and in- All I gotta say, if you are going into another- Let this you a country, and you are motherfucking walking into another country, and your troops are there, and you are helping the troops of that country, you are supporting them, and everybody knows you're fucking supporting them, Come on, man. You got your troops on their motherfucking border. Like, why the fuck are nobody saying anything? Like, that's that's all basically going to war at this point. Like, <laughs> come on. Discriminant bombing runs. The advance was And, and again, it, the, everything, like, who, every person who suffers right here of the, in this war, let's just be honest. The advance was And, and again, oh, shit, fuck, 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 But again, like, let's just be honest. At the end of the day, the people that are suffering the most of this... Who are they? Who are the people that are suffering the most? Let's just be honest, it's the, it's, it's the civilians. They are the ones who are actually, like, fucking suffering this shit. The troops, again, they're troops, right? So you can't really, like, say much about them, right? But again, at the end of the day, it's the civilians that are losing their houses, that are getting fucking bombed, that are getting, getting, uh, having their lives destroyed. Those are the ones that are, like, actually taking massive damage from this, and it's Pretty fucked. Clearly imminent. And tens to hundreds of casualties on both sides, not to even mention civilians. Negotiations Probably a lot of more civilians. Would entered that would see a ceasefire between the two sides, and Medvedev would pledge Russia's official recognition of an independent Abkhazia and South Ossetia. Suck, mate. 
I would say this flag is actually cool though. I like this flag. I like yellow in, in flags. I really like that. That's also why I like Spain's flag. The immediate aftermath only saw a weak international condemnation of Russia and the construction of border fences. What? But the true consequences were much more severe. Russia had re-established its sphere of influence and lashed out against NATO incursion. <laughs> like these motherfuckers are kind of like, Man, I just wanna go to the fucking pub, man. I just wanna go to the pub. And then they have to drive into the thing because I'm uh, Like, it's... <laughs> Like, what the fuck are these guys thinking, like, literally driving in a, in a car worth, like, a thousand dollars next to a car worth, like, a tank worth, like, fucking millions? Like, the money they spent on this shit could have been spent on, like, house, cheaper housing, spent on, like, infrastructure, investing in business, like, all that shit, and they decide to spend it on war material. It's, it's the dumbest shit ever. If this short five-day war seems oddly reminiscent again, of the more- Again, why can we not all just demobilize our motherfucking shit and just- spent that motherfucking money like all be nice all be fucking good fucking countries and just spend that money on the people on the fucking people i'm talking investing in business i'm talking building cheap housing i'm talking investing in schools hospitals i'm talking all that fucking good shit and instead people decide to spend all that money on on tanks planes having people train all day just to like kill each other it's so dumb i hate war I think I think war is necessary, but like, that's not even communist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, JK. Right again, it's not even communist. Again, it's just, it's just like a peace-loving thing, right? I just, I just, um, I just want to like. I would rather these all all this money that spent all all these cars, right, could be spent on so much better shit. Like, let's just be honest. It could have been spent on so much better. I could, uh, because gang, uh, tanks are cool though. I I do agree, but I could also just see a tank at the museum. And I know you're joking, right? But again, like, it's so fucking dumb. I hate it. I, hate, I think Ukraine it's so dumb. Conflict, it would be because it practically wrote the textbook on it. Russia's legacy Soviet-era army would be broken down and reformed, seeing peaks in Russia's military spending and rearmament across the 2010s. Again, the it's just spending of money on the unnecessary. had been written in the Georgian conflict the has been a strong asset in Russia's current diplomacy. And Georgia is, of course, still struggling with the conflict. The ambitions of the Rose Revolution had been stomped fairly hard on. It's and struggling. now Georgia oh, looks at European the integration with... But I, I will actually say, like, calling it the Rose Revolution, like, that's actually quite beautiful. I, I, that's, like, a very beautiful name. It's kind of like the, um, the War of the Roses in, like, the UK and, like, England. And that's also, like, again, it's a very beautiful, like, romanticized name of it. I, I quite like that. I quite like the name. Interest. The border fence has also continued to move, being inched further out in 2015 to claim parts of the Lesser Baku Supsa pipeline, leaving its operations at Russia's mercy. Russia's game of politics and up. control has left it with two. Yeah, but like, don't you don't the War of the Roses, the Rose Revolution, like it's it's a beautiful name. It's a beautiful motherfucking name. It might entail killing people and, like, fucking killing people's families and, like, going and, like, murdering people's kids, right? But, like, it's still a beautiful name, right? Like, come on, man! Like, I, th I think it's a cool, it's a, it's a beautiful name. And an outpost, an offense that indiscriminately separates people from their families and properties. And that was the story of the Five Day War. Whereas the story of the russo Yeah, it's still on, I'm guessing. Is still being written to this day, and it, it was a be peaceful said revolution. This episode but of but there wasn't it like a five day. It war. contains a lot more than I had time to go over, or that I could even go over. I actually like this History video. History isn't just a story of war and politics, but also of concepts like science, maths, and physics. Now, admittedly, I've never been the strongest in these fields, but with brilliant, the tools oh, to learn these ad, ideas have ad. never been more accessible. Okay, I'm just gonna turn this down a little bit, but again, really, really good video. Again, it's very topical on like shit that's actually happening today. Uh, but yeah, it also shows that Russia, like Ukraine, is not the first thing Russia has like done. Again, I, I, I've heard about this before. It's just not something that's like on my mind on the motherfucking daily. Let's just be honest. Was in the and the war into the. Okay, so it's it was okay, so it's. But again, again. 
if if it's genuinely a distinct people group, then I think they should have their own independence. If it's genuinely a distinct people group, and they can like keep their country running without Georgian help, then they should have their independence. Again, maybe some Georgians don't like that, but I I believe that if the, it's if people are like genuinely it's a it's a people group that want their independence, they can they can actually like keep the economy going that has like. They can like agree diplomatically with the country they're seceding from. They should have their dependence, and everything can like run smoothly and shit like that, right? Um, but yeah, other than that, really good video. I I actually genuinely liked it. I genuinely liked it. Really good.